This is the Covert Instruments instructional video for both the improved hammerless hinge pin tool as well as the lockbox tool. In this video we will go over all aspects of the tools so that you know which one you need and how to utilize them to their fullest potential. The hammerless hinge pin tools are single tool solutions for removing pins. The improved hammerless hinge pin tool is used for removing door hinge pins whereas the more slender lockbox tool is used for removing hinge pins found on small format key boxes and other low security boxes. Let's first take a look at how the hinge pin tool works in general, and then we will cover the specific applications for both tools. The hammerless hinge pin tool comprises of three main pieces, the striking head, the body spring, and the end cap. The tool is operated with two hands. The first hand is used to hold onto the ridge surface and stabilize the striking head. The second hand draws back the end cap and releases to perform an impact to the strike head. The tool can also be used in the reverse fashion to seat pins rather than extract them. It should be noted that the stem of the strike head can break if the impact is at an oblique angle or if the end cap is not pulled directly in line with the strike head. Let's take a look at the tools in action. First we will start with the improved hammerless hinge pin tool. The operator will identify an applicable hinge, center the strike head on the bottom of the pin using their first hand to support and maintain the center on the tool while the second hand draws back the end cap and strikes. After several strikes the hinge pin should come loose. To seat the hinge pin, the reverse process is implemented. The hinge pin should be placed into the hinge, and using the end cap, the strike head is raised and dropped to drive the pin back into the hinge. A similar process can be used on lock boxes with exposed hinges. The only difference here is that direction isn't as clear. Most hinge pins on lock boxes will have one rough end which is used to keep the pin inside the hinge. Start by driving the hinge pin out from one side and inspecting the pin. If the rough end is not visible, you will need to drive the pin out from the other side. Reseat the pin and switch striking sides. Once the roughened end of the pin is out of the hinge, a pair of pliers can be used to quickly remove the rest of the pin and the box can be opened. Thank you for purchasing a Covert Instruments hinge pin tool, and we hope that you find great enjoyment in your practice and development of your new skill.